Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, we're gonna talk about Miss Cheney Jones. Now, it was just yesterday, if not the day before, someone in, was in my comment section talking about, oh, you used to be all hyped up about Cheney Jones. I wonder what happened. Hello, honey. We're still hyped up about her, okay? Remember, I made a promise. The moment that you and Cheney separated, I said to you guys that I will always be doing videos on Cheney. Now, y'all know for the past couple of months, I've been kind of a, a bit on the low low, but I'm getting back, honey. I'm getting back to my sweet, sexy ass self, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sexy. I can't help myself, okay? So let's get into this video about Miss Cheney because one of my subscriber recognized that Cheney was still rocking that yay tattoo. I don't remember which one of you guys sent it to me, but I'm going to tag your name in the comment section because you guys deserve credit. I know that sometimes you guys put me on to tea and you don't like any name to be mentioned or anything so i have to respect that but whenever you guys are not fussy about that i always try to give you the credit that you deserve so my subby sent me the photograph and say hey star look at cheney's arm still has that yay tat but it still it seems a bit faded and i said yes because i remember I, it was sometime late last year she said that on tiktok she said that she would never get a tattoo of a boyfriend's name ever again or a man's name again something along that line because she said that it's painful to remove also expensive to remove so even though she's still rocking the yay tattoo it is slightly faded and i think that you know i think that she's not super beat up about not being able to remove it and i think that she realized that hey why should i remove this guy tattoo when you bought me a house this man did really good great things for me and this is why the streets will forever love cheney jones because she's not a julia fox honey no i believe that out of everyone else cheney could say a lot about you but she chose not to say a lot about him i mean we know that she was heartbroken at the end of their separation because if you know how to read between the lines you could tell that she is she was heartbroken but remember that she's also trained with um mental health she's a teacher so she knows how to manage herself and navigate through that and she showed us that whenever she's down you know whenever she's a bit heartbroken she takes it out in the gym and we saw her doing a lot of keep um not kickboxing but boxing remember that she's very athletic so she hold her own. She worked out in the gym, but you know, I realized that the tat was still there. I know y'all love the little scoop and love the little tea. You know, we know Ye is married. We're not going to say this girl is, you know, hung up on you because she's not giving any signs or she's not acting in that manner. If anything, we see her supporting Bianca Sensori, which many people did not realize when Bianca was on Insta, she was supporting Bianca and Bianca supports Cheney. When Cheney went off with her fashion line, Bianca was what rocking Cheney's clothes, which many people did not realize <laughs> she was rocking Cheney clothes, you know, but I meant to do a video on it. And for some reason, slip me. But yeah, Bianca is a huge supporter of Cheney. Cheney is a huge supporter of Bianca. I mean, you know, I guess at the end of the day, when you're really mature and not just maturity, you know, we all have different qualities, different personalities. And I think that some women realize that, listen, it doesn't matter if the guy and I did not end up together at the end of the day. I respect the girl that he's with. She's smart. She's not that woman who's catty. She's not, you know, doing anything to come after me she's not talking any unpleasantries about me or anything like that so i guess both of them because they're so highly educated um you know they have the knowledge to realize that it does make sense that that they be bitter towards each other and they can only come out victorious with being supportive of each other so i really like that for both cheney and bianca but as I said, guys, I just wanted to make you all know that she still has the yay tattoo, not that she's trying to use it 
as anything because some people act as though they have termites eating at their brain you know to say that if the girl has the tattoo some people automatically try to say that oh she still wants he still she's she's still trying to get his attention no that's not it i saw the tiktok video when she said that she you know she actually showed us she was trying to remove it and you can see that it is faded somewhat but you can still tell that it is there and maybe she's like what the heck why was I even putting myself through that agonizing, excruciating pain for, you know? Maybe she's over it and, you know, saying that any man who I'm with who cannot understand why I got this tattoo, I mean, he has to understand why I got it. Because if I got the house, then I can keep the house. Why can't I keep the stat? You know, maybe that's what she's saying. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts, you know? Do you agree with what I'm saying? And if so, why? Do you disagree respectfully? And if so, why respectfully? Let's get a discussion popping. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Peace.